needed to desert us. Maybe together we would have been ready when Sauron returned. Even without the fell influence of the Dark Lord, mankind shall never know the end of war. Worst thing about the pigskins is the way they always act like. Stop it! 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 Stop That beast hunt.
The smell of fresh meat always attracts the scavengers. And they tend to travel in packs. We should leave now. Queen will be pleased to see you. Lady Marwen, Queen of the Shore. Mother. The fallen ranger from the Black Gate. Come closer. Your daughter claims you have something for me. Not for you, Talion. The hour grows late. Very soon, the Dark Lord and his army will march all over Mordor, but a great power can be awakened to prevent it. Is that why I'm here? Breach into Morgoth's scar. Take the elven craft from the ghouls and find the dwarf. Stay strong, Mother. Come. What is your mother's affliction? No one knows. She worsened after her travels. Is there not medicine? There was, but our camp was overrun. Father, they say you are a criminal. The White Tree, the very symbol of Gargoyle, is on its third life to her, replanted with new seedlings. Those are rebirths. I need to find the way to Morgoth's Scar. There's a good chance we can pick up the ghoul's trail at that ransacked caravan we passed earlier by the ravine. So where is that dark scar, man? Morgoth's here. Maybe he's <laughs> <right>. <laughs> I see in Star Moon like Ephilgim, these stones splinter from a past half remembered. How does the Queen know of your past? Ancient knowledge lays unseen by all but spirits. She can see into both worlds. Then perhaps she will lead us to what we seek. Nature thrives and learn. I never thought I'd see such life in Mordor. This is how the Dark Lord shall feed his armies.
Her eyes were able to see your true form. She wants the Maker of the Rings of Power to awaken. These Eldar Towers ascend from beyond the past. Thank the ghouls before I slaughter them. Ghouls are scavengers. They take all, but leave one thing behind. I must locate the ghouls' tracks. Figure out how to tame them crowds. They'd be much better if breaking rocks and laying roads. There's our trail. Scouts to the ambush. I could go for help like This must be Morgoth's scar. In the belly of the beast, stealth is my best weapon. Fear fire as much as light. Those flames might prove useful if we are overwhelmed.
Your heirloom must be here. Betrayed. Its power blazes like a beacon and will bring ruin to all Middle Earth. Escape this darkness. Those fires will stop them. Entrance is nigh, and so is our end if we don't reach it in time. to end your military career inside the belly of a ghoul, eh? I'm Torvin, the Beast Hunter. And I bet ten pints you just nabbed the treasure I was after. Now, I am grateful for the assistance. 
but it does not grant you proprietary rights. <laughs> Keep it! I just found something a lot more valuable. <laughs> and what would that be? My new hunting partner! Uh, what you hunt does not interest me, Master Dwarf. Even if it leads you to the chisel that belongs to that hammer. Every creature's got its lure. Yours just happens to be uh, very old. Well, if the thrill of the hunt takes your fancy, my camp's not far. Find the dwarf. What of your vision, Kilabrimbo? I used all that he had taught me and forged the three in secret. Water, air, and fire. a plenty stranger.
ancestral doom I must push away with light. to help. My brother was speaking ill of the Dark Lord. It made the slave her furious. Stop fighting, Ranger!
each citadel to the light against the shadow. See me? Shouldn't hear me? It's a clean kill. And none of it is going to go to waste. What's your name, Ranger? Italian. What worry? A lieutenant? No, actually, I was a captain. Oh, my mistake! We have a captain in our midst! Well, better look sharp, eh? Captain's coming! Better sharpen the swords, eh? And make sure our boots are nice and shiny! <laughs> oh, so tell me, Captain, have you ever hunted a Graug? A Graug has what you promised me. Aye. Not just any growl. The largest one I ever came across. We must prepare! I should do just fine. I've been trained very well. My dog, Silver, was trained very well. That was before she got eaten by a warg. Hunt! It's not about rules, my captain. We're not going to line up and have someone play with our lives. It's about instinct, and it's about guts. Which, as you can see, I know a thing or two about. <laughs> you want basics on the hunt. Follow me. Hunt is its own beast, one you must learn to tame. First lesson of Karagor hunting, do not die. What do we need them for? We ride them. A worthy mount for a dangerous hunt. Now, these beasts will not be impressed by your rank. All flesh tastes the same to them. Once you go on the hunt, Captain, you'll come out a changed man. Hopefully for the better, but you never know. When I was hunting wargs, I picked up their ways quickly. But Karagors, well, those bastards are a tougher breed. Took me nearly a year to figure them out. Karagors. Buggers hate water. I once tried to ride one through a river, and she hightailed it up a cliffside with me on its back. Amazing what they'll do to avoid the good cleaning, eh? And the hunt is my mistress. Beautiful. Thrilling. Infectious. And she doesn't nag like my wife. Oh, you haven't lived until you've been on the hunt, Captain. The very air smells different. Like triumph. Ranger, over here! 
That one over there looks quite aggressive. Don't even try creeping up on a Karagor. It'll catch your scent a mile away. What do you propose, then? Why don't you hop in and introduce yourself? Ask it for a ride. <laughs> when a Karagor charges, you have two options. Knock the bastard down, or eat dirt! What now? Hop on and take it for a ride! Don't take it! Become war! about the same time it took me to tame one. You might be a natural, Captain. You didn't fare too bad back there. Where'd you get your training, Captain? I hail from the Black Gate. The Black Gate. Nice place. Sounds depressing. <laughs> let's find some Uruks. Now that you tame the beast, let's see if it'll fight for you. Hunting and learning for long, Dwarf. For years and years. Land used to be more lush. Now a doom slowly sweeps over it. Like much of Mordor. Yes. Though the doom does add a space to the hunt. Sure, you can ride a cow, but can you shoot? You take him up high. Leave the ground dogs to me. <laughs> to a final test. Fight him however you like. Oh, running short on lessons? Running long on lip? You'll need to think on your feet. When we face the Grog, can't always look to me for help. The hunt is about discipline. Training yourself to see the perfect moment, rather than being told it. I once tried to great evil back to her nest. I decided to let them be, even before they toss me to the rocks below. Wait! Lucky you! Swing it! Watch for the 
Find another cow. Bring it to a final test. Fight him however you like. Oh, running short on lessons? Running long on lip? You'll need to think on your feet. When we face the ground, can't always look to me for help. <laughs> the hunt is about discipline. Training yourself to see the perfect moment, rather than being told it. I once tracked a great eagle back to her nest. I decided to let them be, even before they tossed me into the rocks below. Something must be wrong. Go to him, Talion. Perhaps we should track the hunter. You'll make a nice meal, dwarf! Torvin needs help. I heard the dark lord. <laughs> What does riding Karagors have to do with killing Graugs? All these questions, Captain. Well, you were supposed to follow orders. You are testing my patience, Torvin. Pay attention. Learn to respect the beast. You're gonna need size and strength to fight the mighty Graug. Remember, on the hunt, respect is earned. Who knows? Yet will even call you sir, eh? <laughs> <laughs> This dwarf is far from home. Not all.
those who wander are lost. Off by my wee scars. No, oh, not at all. I actually have a few of my own. <laughs> oh, I'll bet. What type of battle scars did you get from the Black Gate, eh? Splinters! <laughs> oh, or did you uh, scar your voice telling your soldiers to head into battle? Tread lightly. My scars run very deep. Huh. The mighty Grog. You give me these. And he also took my hunting partner. So, what now? Well, another lesson for you, my captain. <clears throat> Maybe you'll even come out of this one on Scar. <laughs> So, what backward lesson do you have planned this time, eh? Shooting Krabain to prepare us for the mighty Grog? You want to hunt Grog? And so you shall. But not just any Grog. This is a rare one. It's territorial. Strong enough to claim land as its own. And you and me, we're trespassing. Tell me, Captain. You ever slay a Grog before? Today will be the first of many. Now you're talking like a hunter. I've got a feeling in my gut you may survive this, Captain. Oh, since that's the largest part of you, I like those odds. So I assume you have a plan to kill this Grog? I do, Captain. And since you're so good at taking orders, I'll tell you how, step by step. Step one, when he's crunching on an Uruk, sneak up behind the giant beast and bleed the bastard's ankle. Basic lesson of the hunt is tracking. Right now, you're failing at tracking me! But why not his throat? There is one place Graugs aren't covered in spiky scales. Don't call the weakness of Graugs heal for nothing! You want me to sidle up to this beast? If you can manage it without being crushed, yes! There it goes! What a fine, fine specimen! And it'll meet a fine end. I've got to pierce its ankle if I want to bleed it. Quite a ride. I need a Karagor for speed. Sounds easy enough. Right, our cabin! Hey, you! I've slain big 
undergrounds when I was a wee boy and my beard was only three inches tall. Step three, shoot it in the head. What's step four? There is no step four! It should be dead! You must have done it wrong! I'm following your orders! Well, that's your problem! Think for yourself! I have an idea. What are you doing? You can't ride the ground! What's step four? There is no step. It should be dead. You must have done it wrong. I'm following your orders. Well, that's your problem. Think for yourself. I have an idea. What are you doing? You can't ride the ground. What's step four? There is no step four! It should be dead! You must have done it wrong! I'm following your orders! Well, that's your problem! Think for yourself! I have an idea. What are you doing? You can't find the crowd! What's step four? There is no step four! It should be dead! You must have done it wrong! I'm following your orders! Well, that's your problem! Think for yourself! I have an idea. What are you doing? You can't ride a girl! Usual to ride the ground. Nothing like a little improvising, eh? <laughs> All right, Captain. That's it. You showed instinct, gumption, respect. <laughs> Training's over. 
Got guts? Let's go spill some, eh? The darkness of Mordor doesn't seem to touch that dwarf. The Seven Rings of Power did not turn the Dwarf Kings to wraiths, as the Nine Rings did to men. They are a stubborn as stone and cannot be dominated by evil. That is why Sauron has sworn to destroy them.